Hello everybody, it's Mystic and welcome back to my library. This is another episode of Let's Play Planet Zoo. And um, in the last episode, we, what did we do? I, I was kind of messing with education a little bit and I know, uh, I think it was Rosie Rose said that the uh, mess the education boards don't actually have a radius like the speakers do. So they're working as intended. I guess their people are just not really looking at them right now. Um, the other thing they suggested was to put up security cameras because I only have one security guard in the entire zoo and uh, things are getting vandalized. So it's probably a good idea to start doing that. Also, I think they said something about not the guests not wanting to walk. Uh, one second, let me just check this out just so I can make sure I have stuff. More benches, okay, yeah. So I have to put more benches on because guests are gonna complain soon um, as the zoo expands that there is just not enough places to sit. So I have to make sure that I do that and I have to put in security cameras. So I think that's what I'm going to do first today um, before I do anything else. By the way, has anybody seen the announcement? Uh, actually, you probably have by this point because it's been up for a couple days now, but um, Planet Zoo is getting a 1.5 update soon and I'm super excited about it because it's going to be adding, There's they're adding billboards, they're adding um, a couple new scenarios there was something else that they were adding, and now I can't remember what it was, but it just sounded really awesome. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to play that. And oh, you know what? I got to look it up. I'm sorry. I, I really should have like had everything laid out <laughs> before I start. Oh, um, Garials are getting a uh, an ability to swim underwater now. So there's that. And what was the other thing aside from the billboards? Let me see. Planet Zoo 1.5 update. Oh, oh, the multiple zoo entrances. Yes, that one's going to be super exciting too because then, you know, guess if they get tired on another side of the zoo, they can just leave that way rather than going all the way back to the beginning. So that'll be super helpful as well. Now I'm wondering how these things work. Security and crime. So like if I were to put, oh, I see. Okay. Oh, and then this sign is telling people not to feed them. So that's working as intended. So if I were to put something like right here, it would, in it would cover pretty much everything there. And then I could see like who knocked that over. Okay, let's replace that because otherwise guests are going to be upset. Now let's take a look at if there's anything else that's causing a problem. I want to kind of set up a couple of security cameras though. Oh wait, there's other kinds. Like I don't need to use that one. I could have one like up on a wall. Like I could put it, I could put it right here and then it would, it would take a look at, at what people are doing in this area. So let's put it like that. And then we can put another one here. Wait, is that one just hovering? Oh no, it's good. Is it facing the right way though? Cause I might, no, I mean, I. it's got a radius, so it should be fine. And then maybe I'll stick one right here. Hang on. Like so. Okay. Uh, that's not at all where I wanted that. <laughs> what the heck? Hang on. <laughs> okay. Uh, what? Nope, not shift. X. There. Okay. Yeah, some of them are not facing in the right direction. Let me... This one's fine. I mean, I assume they move around, so maybe it doesn't even matter. But... Let's let's get it actually looking at the guests and not the bears. I mean, I don't know. They could be stealing picnic baskets. You never, you never know. Okay, so that one, I'm the the one on the stand. I'm just gonna leave as is. I, I think that was all of them, right? Yeah. There. So we got those. And yeah, I need to just put some more benches in because there's a whole lot of room here, and guests are gonna start getting tired. So. Let's put in some benches so that people can sit. Oh, we have a new Chinese pangolin. 
What do you mean a diseased animal has been discovered? Where? Ah, uh, Tularemia, the one I have not been researching. <laughs> of course. Of course. Uh, so, I guess... All right, so who... Which of these vets is where? Luke Kulsik is the grasslands. And then who? That research. Lincoln. Lincoln, 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 Lincoln. Let me pause for a second. Oh, wait. Oh, we got some drink shops. Okay. Lincoln. What am I doing? Oh, right. Nope. Lincoln is tropical. Okay, so he's over there. So are both of my taiga vets busy? Hang on. Who do I have over here? Or entrance vets? Dolores and Erland. What's she doing? He's going to the habitat. She's commuting. I think I'm going to have her researching that. Dolores. Oh, she's researching a different disease. So let's get her onto tularemia. So apparently that's something that the uh, the hooved animals get. All right, so we got a couple of diseased animals. And I kind of knew that was going to happen because they have a lot of animals in that one. So, all right, that should be good. We had more baby beetles. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. There's a lot of them. Okay, well, let's go to animals. I have to go take a look at the pangolins, too, at some point. <gasps> what? What the heck? Where did all of these beetles come from? I mean, I know where they came from, but, like, what? Y'all, there's so many. How, how did I... How did I miss so many beetles okay so you're good let's get rid of you 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 i only need one female so ooh, that one's pretty good so wait i think this one had a 50 right yep okay so we'll get rid of shawnee so Radia. okay might keep him Saba. Can get rid of Saba. What about you? Oh, you're decent, so I can get rid of Ali. Uh, Ishak. <laughs> this is ridiculous. How did I do this? What about you? No, you're bad. Oh my god. I mean, I have a breeding pair, so at this point, it's fine. Let's just, let's just sell all of them. Oh my god. How did that even happen? 23? What the heck? Okay. I I have no idea. There's so many. I don't know how I end up oh my god. Eight thousand. Eight thousand dollars. Now there should only be two left, right? Yep, there's two. Okay. <laughs> Good grief. Now there should only be two frogs, right? Yep. Okay. That's better. What am I going to do with all this money? Uh, what do we get here? Oh, breed a new exhibit species. Again. Okay. All right. What are we researching right now? Aside, I, I mean, not the vets, but the mechanics. Oh, you know what I should do with some of this money? Wait a minute. How did we end up with so many pangolins? Hang on. Because the pangolins don't like having this many. Oh, wait a minute. No, I guess they're fine. I thought they only wanted, like, one to two. How, how did I end up with so many pangolins? 
There's three adults and two babies, right? Oh. Oh, wait, no, that's what it is. The, um... The other... There's two moms, I think. Let me see. I think that's what happened. We have on, on... I wish I could click on them and actually see them. Like, actually see their stats. Where is this one? Is this it? On, on. Okay. Not bad. What about you? 100. Fertility. Okay. All right. So, most likely, I'm going to keep this one. Um, yeah. The adult population is actually okay how it is. Mei Ying. I think she's the older one, right? Yeah, she's the older one. I'm going to put her on contraceptives. And... Actually, I could... Wait, not him. Her. I could actually send this guy to the wild because... I don't really need any more boys in this generation. Yeah, so let's release him to the wild. And that way, we're good. More food shops. Okay, so now I can actually start working on the other food area. So let's go do that. I'm thinking I'm going to put the restaurants over here. And, ooh, did we get some nice stuff? Hang on. Now I can hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to change this up because this is going to all be like the, the tropical area. And these are the picnic. Oh, they're so cute. Okay, picnic benches. And then I could even put some along here. Uh, like that them all along this side garbage bin okay there that's nicer actually I guess I can change that one out too cool okay looking good and now over here I can get some restaurants going. What do we got? Hot Dog Squad, Gulpy. Okay. Uh, let's see. Gulpy Slush, Gulpy Soda, Chief Beef, Looney Balloons, Hot Dog Squad. I want to put a Hot Dog Squad. I don't have any proper decorations yet. I'm going to get a nice, decent queue line going. So hot dog squad, and I guess we'll put a gulpy slush. And we are going to need an ATM. And what else? I don't have an info center yet. And actually, I'm thinking it probably wouldn't hurt to have it over here like this. Because people are going to want to get their info at the beginning. So we can put that there, and we still need a Looney Balloons. Maybe I'll put Looney Balloons over in this food court. Do I want it next to everything else? No, because it looks dumb there. Um, oh, wait a minute. First of all, I just turned all of that into a group. Why am I like this? Where's Looney Balloons? Nope. Looney Balloons. Can I get it to work here? Yeah, that's not so bad. Although they're not quite even. No, I guess they're okay. I could probably put them all in one building if I tried. Oh, and then the other thing I'm going to need for this area is I'm going to need a, um, a staff room for these vendors. So let's... Oh, shoot. If I put it there, though, aren't the guests going to see it? If I put... Hang on. 
If I put it here. Oh, I have an idea. I have an idea. Ah, oh, shoot. I can't. I don't have an idea. Well, I do have an idea, but hold on. I'm going to do it like this and then make this into just one giant building eventually. So this is going to be accessed over here. Wait, what? What? Why are you trying to turn that into that? Excuse me. Okay, I'm confused. I, I don't know why it's turning into the wrong path, but all right, fine. I'll just fix it. There we go. Yeah, and then I can just turn this into one big building at a later date once I decide how I want to decorate it, but that should be good. So I need to turn these vendors, I need to turn that into a work zone. Um, so let's... The only problem... Okay, so vendors... Wait a minute. Did I only give one of... All right, so Lynn, Lynn should be at vendor's entrance. Um, I don't know why I didn't give her that work zone, but she should be there. And then who is this? Who's the person that's working here? Actually, let's start the game up so I can see who's working in there. Who are you? Hello, sir. Who are you? Connor Luong. Okay. Connor should be also at the vendor's entrance. Okay, and then let's go over here. And then we're gonna turn, where is it? Here it is. We're gonna turn this into a different work zone for the other vendors. So work zone, vendors, there. Vendors, uh, grassland because it's near the grassland area, so it's fine. And I gave them a staff room? Yeah, all right, cool. Okay. Oh, and then I just need to add some perks. I think we're just gonna keep it at rec room. And then I just need some tables. I'm gonna just do the plain picnic tables for now because I don't have anything else yet. Once I get like the African stuff or i don't know classic maybe oh wait is this classic this isn't classic is it no this is just the normal planet zoo there should be a classic one later this might be a good spot for classic okay And then I guess I could stick some benches around the outside. Like so. All right. Uh, there's still some things I might want to put in here. And this might actually be a good spot to put like a second exhibit. Like right in the middle so people can look at it. And I, I do have the money to do that right now. Oh wait, I can't put exhibits on paths. Are you serious? How badly is it going to screw me up to just try and get rid of one solitary path? Oh, not so bad, actually. Okay. And that, oh boy. Are you going to cooperate with me, though? Because I need it on all three sides. Wait, come on. Not gonna let me do it, is it? Can I add two paths to that? Oh yeah, I can. Oh, perfect. Okay, that's exactly what I wanted to do. I mean, it would have been nice if I could just put a path all along it, but it's fine. Okay, so what kind of exhibit animal do I wanna have over here? We're kind of over in the grassland section. So I'm thinking, because these are the African herbivores over here. So maybe I'm thinking something from Africa. I don't think I have, oh wait, those are Amazonian. Uh, What do I have? I think giant burrowing cockroaches are 
African, aren't they? Oh, no, those are Australia. Okay. North America, Asia. I can do the tiger snails. I don't think I have any of those yet. So, okay. We'll put tiger snails in there. So we got to go to G. There we go. Um, and actually, we got a couple of good quality ones here. Ooh, and that's a 100 fertility. So let's see what this one is. That's 67, 58. All right, so we'll go with you and you. Okay, and then send to zoo. You go there. Now this one is going to have a completely open exhibit just because of the way it's laid out. And actually, I think that's okay. Maybe I'll just raise that a smidge meter. But otherwise, eh, maybe another smidge meter. Okay, that's good. Now I need some education boards for this. Oh, my pangolins are about to age up. Okay, I gotta go check on them in a sec. Uh, I want to align it to the surf. No, not like that. <laughs> nope, nope, please stop. I want that, I want, okay, there we go. Oh my God, will you just cooperate with me, please? One, two, actually, you know what? A good thing to put in these empty areas would be the uh, donation boxes. Now, obviously I don't need a donation box in every single one of these. I could just stick a tree in one of them. Um, yeah, so giant tiger snail. Tiger snail. Oh, and also, let's name this giant tiger land snail. Okay, and then whatever keeper is doing this, I'm gonna have them do this one too. Not an iguana. Okay. And then we go here, we do that. Cool. All right, so let's add in some donation boxes. Put one here and one here. I feel like that's probably good, actually. Like that, okay. There we go. All right, hopefully that'll be good for donations, maybe. Uh, what am I missing? Oh, keeper. I have to see which keeper is doing this. Uh, African grasslands keeper. Exhibit Keeper Grassland. So you are going to be the one that's going to be taking care of them. You go there and then, oh, the grassland mechanic should also be taking care of that. Okay. I think that should be good. All right. Oh, pangolins. Okay. As soon as, actually, if the boys are gonna mature, I should probably start, I'm gonna keep her because she's been in the in the zoo for this long. Shaosheng, um, are either of the boys gold quality? No, but how old is she? Can she have another baby? She could, so I think what I'm gonna do is, uh-oh, what bread? All right, I'm gonna have to go look at that. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually send the boys to the wild and then adopt another male, like a gold quality male for her. I probably should have just kept the other dad. All right. So what of my zoo, what of my exhibit animals bred this? Probably the stupid beetles again. Um, let's see. Oh, no, it wasn't the beetles this time. It was the frogs. Okay. We did not end up with any good quality frogs. Now we still have Reginaldo. Let me see if there's a better female for him. Because if there is, what is it? Red eye? So it's our red eye tree frog. Nope. 50-50. Okay. Um, let me see if there's a slightly better frog that I can keep this time. 
So Reginaldo will keep because he's bronze, which means we can sell Paolo, Tacito, and Wilson. They can go to the Trade Center. Wilson. It seems so weird for him to be named Wilson when everybody else has a set naming convention. Okay, so then my only other option is Cecilia. She's 50-50, and Marissa, or Marisa? Should we actually want to keep Marisa? Okay, send to Trade Center. Okay, so we're good. Just going to keep those guys. Okie dokie. What was I doing? Oh, I was waiting for the pangolins to age up. We got some more food. We got uh, some more drinks. The staff, uh-oh, wait a minute. I am a silly because if the staff needs to rest, they've got to go all the way around here to be able to do that. So let me actually add a second path. Uh, where do I want to put it? Like right here? Yeah, you know what, that's fine. There. Oh, and actually, if that's the case, because there are... Oh, wait a minute. I don't actually need it to be attached over here. Perfect. Okay. That's that's better. I could put some trees and stuff along this area eventually. But yeah, I think what I want to do is I want to build like one big building to just house all of this stuff. And I'm going to probably design it in like, since I'm near the African grasslands area, probably in like an African theme. What do I have everybody researching right now? It seems the llamas are fine. I kind of want to keep, I kind of want to just keep them researching the diseases that they're researching. Although I do need to have somebody on zebras. What are my grassland vets doing? Grassland vets. I only have one vet in the grasslands? And you have a, a low workload? What are you doing, Luke? Oh, Luke's not doing a dang thing. All right, go ahead. Research the zebras. And then the mechanics. Oh, actually, now that I've added more drink shops and more food shops, I can actually have the mechanics move on to something else. So I could have them go on to an African theme because of this area here. Somebody needs to go back onto the South America theme too. I've only done one section of it. Hold on, hold please. What if, who is my South American mechanic? Mechanic Tropical, Columbus and Damien. What are they up to? Columbus isn't doing anything right now. Damien is working on the drink shop. So he could take a break from drink shops and he can go back to South American theme because I don't need to keep researching drink shops at the moment. And who does Virginia, what does she do? Virginia is the entrance. So that's Tyga. So she could start researching like North America, New World, Arctic. She could do one of those. Or she could just finish up the habitats. What else could she do? Why don't, why don't I have her switch to habitats? Because I don't need this. And then once this guy's done with power, I can move him on to something else as well. Okay. That's better. That's better. Yeah, because eventually this is all going to be decorated in either New World or Arctic, since this is Taiga. I'm thinking Arctic, though, just because I have the, the reindeer here, and a lot of this is snowy. I feel like, I don't know, New World is a really cool look, though. I do want to put that somewhere, but it doesn't necessarily need to go there. All right, we got some vet research done. I guess I can move the vet off of Tularemia, huh? What? Oh, with space? Okay, well... I don't have anything to, I, I can't help you there. All right, so who was researching tularemia? Actually, you don't need to keep researching tularemia. So you can take a break. You can go back and do something else. There. Okay. Let's 
Let's take a look. Uh-oh, what's wrong? Again? Didn't I fix this? And is my security thing just not... Uh-oh, something else is broken over here. Oh, and it's right outside of my of my range. <laughs> Why are people like this? Okay. I guess I should put another camera in over here then. Let's let's do that. Like here? Oh man, I can't okay, yeah, I can see everything from there. There we go. Oh no, what happened to my alright, I forgot about my pangolins. Again. Hang on, they don't need a security camera. Oh wait, they haven't aged up yet. Did they? Oh wait, one of them did. Who did? Didn't they? You? You're an adult. Okay, so I can release you to the wild. And this little guy, when do they reach maturity? What am I looking at? Pangolins. They're under Chinese, aren't they? Yeah. One year. Okay, so he's still got some time. So I think what I'm going to do, because he's only bronze quality... I think um, I want to breed Xiao Shang more. So I think I'm going to see if I can get a gold quality male. So let's try that. Chinese pangolin. Oh, there's not a lot. Oh my god. Seriously? Alright. I'll check back later then. Zebras are about to mate. Okay, wait, have they had a baby already? I feel like they did. Am I? Oh, no, wait, no, they didn't. I only just added them last episode. And also, there's so much space here. I kind of want to add some more herbivores to this because this is like a nice big laid out space. Foot and mouth disease. Okay. Actually, Erlen can switch to something else. What is he a staff member for? Um, Erland is entrance. Now I can't have him. All right, he can just stay on that then. All right, the iguanas are doing good. I should probably give some people some training. This one keeper has not had any extra training. The mechanics I could probably stand to do. Oh, I should train my poor security guard. Okay. Then vets. Yeah, I have to start training up the vets again, too. So that they can research things faster. I mean, I guess I could start doing that now. There's no reason for them to not have three stars. So we'll do this, 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 this. I have some money to spend, so I might as well do it. One, two, three, four... Five. Okay. Cool. All the vets are now going to be three stars. Same with the mechanics, which means they'll be researching things even faster. These guys are good. Got some vet research that's complete. Okay. Zebras. Yeah, I kind of want to add more of the... Um, wait, did they get pregnant? Yes. Okay. Social group is too small. Okay. So I could add... Oh my god, the Beatles had babies again. Okay. Hold, please. Um, so I could add like an African buffalo, right? Yeah, African buffalo, giraffe, Thompson's gazelle. If I do a Thompson's gazelle, I need to make sure that I do one way. Oh, wait a minute. Didn't I already do one way glass here? No, I didn't. And also, mechanic, hello. Oh, no, wait, it's fine. Yeah, if I'm going to add Thompson's Gazelles, I need to do one-way glass. So let's let's fix that. Because otherwise they're going to have a panic attack like every five seconds. Is that the right way? I think so. Is it? Yeah, it is. I think. It's hard to tell when the sun is like that. Yeah. Yeah, you can't see people. It's just shadows. Okay. Oops. Um, all right. So then we can add a Thompson's gazelle here because now they aren't going to freak out. 
Let's see what I... Oh, I should probably check pangolins again, too. But let's just do the gazelle. Or, I mean, it doesn't have to be a gazelle, but... Oh, yeah, we can do gazelles. Um, No, we can't. There's only one boy. Never mind. What else could I put in here? Spring box. Those are also Africa. Aren't they? Pretty sure. I should probably check before I get one. Yep. They're good. Okay. We'll do spring box. Because I can actually afford these guys. How old is she? 1.5. Ooh, she's good. Okay. And pretty cheap as far as, um, uh, whatchamacallits go. Let's see. Oh, God. Nope. Eh, really? There's nothing better? Um, this guy's not bad. I, I know I'm going to be using a lot of conservation credits on him, but yeah, he's really the only option. Okay. So let's put them into quarantine. Why can I not click on you? All right. Hello, game. All right. Move to quarantine. And then move to quarantine. Okay. So they're going to go there. Let me check penguins one more time. Uh, here we go. Oh, we got some boys. Okay. One boy. He's not great, but I don't really have a choice. And I can buy him for cash. So, hello. There we go. Now, what quarantine... Do these guys move to? I think they're over in Tropical, right? Wait, there isn't a quarantine in Tropical. Why not? Why do I not have a quarantine in Tropical? I guess he's going to have to go over here. Okay. There we go. At some point, I need more caretakers. Because um, this is starting to be a much more sprawling zoo. And see, this guy is pretty overworked right now. So maybe... I should add another dude over here. I mean, it doesn't matter. They kind of just wander. Okay. Llama education rating. No crime. No crime for three months is tough because people are such buttheads. What? 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 <laughs> Why is that showing up on that? I'm not sure why that's showing up on that. Like, people can't access it. They can't vandalize it. Anyway. What was I checking? I came here to check something. Negative impact on guests? I don't think that that's what I was going to check. The heck was I going to check? Oh, no, wait. I was going to check this just to see if anything had been knocked over. But looks like it's fine for now. Okay. All right, so we got a new pangolin on the way. And then I'm just waiting on who? Ew, this thing needs to be cleaned. Oh, no, he's here. Never mind. Okay. Uh, where's my... Where are my other pangolins? Oh, they're so hard to find when they curl up into a little ball like this. Okay, so he'll be aging up soon. All right, quarantine passed. So you can go here. The other one should be done in just a second, so I'm not going to move off of this screen just yet. There we go. Oh, and quarantine's done for the pangolin, too. And you go here. Cool. Okay. I think we're good. Everybody's been moved. These guys should not flip out too much because they have one wee glass. Um, hold on. Let me just make sure everything else is good for them. They need some soil. 
okay. I could probably add some soil to like under the bed because I feel like you wouldn't get a ton of grass under here. Maybe a little under the tree as well. There, okay. Now is that gonna mess up the zebras at all? Nope, zebras are good, okay. Um, what else? You should have plenty of uh, shelter. You got plenty of space. You got plants. You've got enrichment. So you're good. You're just waiting on your buddy. Which should be on his way. Okay. Might as well just max out foot and mouth disease. And then he can do something else when he's done. And then, yeah. Where is... Where's my other? Oh, there he is. Other spring block is here. Cool. Okay. Oh, and I've got a visitor. Hello. Okay. New animal. All right. I think we're good. Looking good. We added a lot today. Got some new restaurants, some new exhibits. Some new animals. Now, I do have a baby zebra coming, but not for a while. The springbok are good. Their social group is not great. But they also get a bonus, don't they, for having the interspecies? Yeah. Although that helps enrichment and not social. Oh, and you know what else? I should change a couple of these or maybe even add some, but some of these need to show springbok because right now I just have zebra. So here, let's change this one to springbok. There we go. Okay. Okay. All right. I think this is where I am going to stop for today. Making some good progress. Let me see... How close we are to getting a couple of these researched things, uh, research things rather, uh, halfway to that one, a little under halfway for that. And then the power is still being worked on. So we've got to wait for that too, but it's getting there. Uh, once we get solar panels, it'll probably be a little bit easier to put power out because guests don't really care about solar panels. It doesn't bother them. And uh, then I can also start decorating more for the South America area because I'll have more building options for over here, over here. I can maybe even dress up the zoo habitats a little bit too. Uh, but yeah, all in all, we are doing great. So hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget, you can follow me on Twitch where I stream once or twice a week, mostly RPGs. Um, you can also follow me on Twitter. You can join the Discord. I have links for both of those down below. And you could become a channel member for $4.99 a month, which is absolutely completely optional. But if you would like to, you can. You can click the join button to do that. And yeah, hopefully you all have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye.